Hello and welcome to this answer video. In this answer video, I'll be walking you through the answers for the worksheet, what fraction is shaded, as well as talking you through some of the tricky bits to do with this skill. Question one wants us to use the shaded shapes to complete these fractions, and then we need to match these fractions up to those shapes. So we've been given some information in this fraction. We've been given the top number, that's the numerator. So that's how many parts we're looking at. So looking at those pictures of the shapes, we're looking for one with six parts shaded in. And when we look at the fractions, the one with six parts shaded in is B. And the total number, that's the denominator, that's the whole, the total number of parts, you need to count up the individual parts. And there are nine parts there all together in shape B, six ninths. For the second fraction, we're looking at four something. So we're looking at four parts, that's our numerator. Which shape has four parts shaded? That's A. And then for your denominator, how many parts make up the whole? We have six. So four sixths for A. For the last fraction, we've been given the denominator this time. So that's how many parts make up the whole shape. So when we're looking, we've got C left and you can check those parts, how many make the whole. There are eight separate parts there that make the whole and how many are shaded? There are one, two, three, four, five parts shaded five eighths and that matches shape C. For question two, Regina and Errol are describing the shaded shapes. Regina says her shapes all have more than three parts shaded. So we're looking for more than three parts and Errol has shapes um, with fractions where both have a numerator of three. So three parts for the top number for Errol. So let's deal with Errol first because we know his shapes have a fraction with a numerator of three. So that's three parts shaded. And the ones with three parts shaded are C and E. Those two shapes have three parts shaded. And we have to check for Regina because some of the shapes might not belong to a child. So let's have a look. Regina says her shapes all have more than three parts. So A has four parts shaded, so that's definitely Regina. B also has four parts shaded. And D has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts shaded. So that's also more than three, so that belongs to Regina. So for three, question three, Hilda's drawn these three shapes and shaded some in. And she says shape B, so we've got A, B, and C. And she says shape B has three ninths shaded. Let's have a look at three ninths for shape B. Now we've got three parts shaded. So that's correct because that's the numerator, the top number. And then there should be nine parts altogether for the denominator for that whole. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So B is correct, three ninths. Hilda also says shape C has four tenths shaded. Let's have a look, one, two, three, four. So we know the numerator is four because four parts are shaded. And she says 10 for the denominator. 10 make the whole. Let's check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So actually, Hilda has counted her parts wrong. There are nine parts that make up the whole, which make the fraction 4 ninths. For A, Hilda says shape A's shaded fraction is 9 sevenths. Now, when you look at 9 sevenths, you can see that the numerator, the top number, is larger than the bottom number. And in this case, that can't be true. So what we're looking at, because this is over a whole, and what we're looking at actually is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven parts shaded. So that's our numerator. And then there's two extra ones. There's nine all together. So we're looking at seven ninths for shape A. It's not nine sevenths, it's seven ninths. 
So that was an answer video for the worksheet What Fraction is Shaded from Classroom Secrets and I hope you found it useful. Remember you can watch the linked video tutorial for this skill over on kids.classroomsecrets.co.uk or you can practice loads more to do with fractions over on classroomsecrets.co.uk.